everybody, we're going on our very first trip in our RV. I'm Jill. I'm Matt. And, and we're the Happy Vegan Travelers. So, Levy, what happened with our dinner? We had to eat cold sandwiches because our stove is not working. What's wrong with our stove? When we light it, it just burns out right away. It turns on for a second and then right out. Do we have pro propane? We do have propane. <laughs> We've got a tank that's almost 100% full of propane. The valve is open. Like, it's almost like it's just like eating up all the propane in the line or something it's like right away you know yeah. it's very weird we'll show you hopefully we won't be able to show you because it'll work <laughs> but, so we're having a little trouble with hot food but that's the rugged camping life of a happy vegan traveler all right it's morning uh obviously camper our stove our stove finally turned on the range we're gonna have some pancakes. Yeah. Marvin, are you having breakfast? Are you ready for breakfast, Marvin? And Olive is driving. Why are you driving, Olive? What are you doing? Mushroom in the whole world is over here. have the biggest apple pie ever. All right, Levy, cut that bad boy up. Try them with some hot dogs.
Here we go, Dr. Pepper baked beans. It definitely does taste a little bit like Dr. Pepper. The baked beans is very sweet. It's got a little spice to it, it's interesting. I don't know that's good. Very gross. Hey everyone. Hey everyone. Hello. Uh, so we came here to practice, to do a practice run. And so far a couple things have gone wrong. The very first night we got here, uh, we wanted to cook food because we were so hungry. And we hadn't found, bought firewood or anything. We were just going to cook on our stove and it wouldn't turn on. Uh, so we did like most people did. We sent a call out to a Facebook group, right? <laughs> yeah. And somebody said they thought maybe there's uh, air in the line, uh, some air in the propane line. And their suggestion was we turn off the main valve on the propane and then open it back up, but very, very slowly. We woke up in the morning and it was working. Turn the stove on, flame. It's been working so far the whole time. No problem. So last night we heard this noise. Turns out it was the water pump. Um, it was trying to pump, pump water. It was out. Basically, we were out of fresh water. So we came in, we had a, our tank, I think it was two thirds full. We thought that would be enough, um, but it wasn't. We got lots of water for cooking and drinking, uh, but we're, you know, learned a lot about how we need to manage our water and check the gauge, uh, you know, going forward. So the thing that I have been worried about, draining the poo water, uh, black tank, we have not done yet. I'm assuming everything went perfectly fine. I'm guessing no poo got on us. Everything got cleared out. Yeah. Do you have any predictions? I think we will have done it. No problem. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> uh, one of the reasons why we chose this place is because there is an all vegan brewery like three miles away from it, from us. It's called the Pig's Mind. And that's where we're going tonight, right? Yeah. We're going to try their food. Um, we are also going to attempt something which we don't know if it's ever been done before, probably not. <laughs> We're gonna try to get an Uber or a Lyft mm -hmm. to pick us up here in the spot. Okay. All right, let's, let's go, go eat. eat. What? The gloves and stuff? Yeah, the gloves and the uh, the disinfectant wipes. We've got gloves and Clorox wipes. Yeah, for sure. Do those screws do anything? Does it pop out toward you? 
the valve is closed for sure, right? Yeah. Can we go check? Yeah, I guess we both like why is there so much pressure on this thing? Okay. So the grey water there's valve was not closed. Sure. Why? There's on the floor, there's poo. Hey, it was supposed to be grey water. Let me go push the black one again. Okay, it is pushed. Black water is pushed. What happened? Okay, so we've had one big problem. The gray tank was open when we opened the thing and water started flying out of the gray tank. The black tank was closed and for some reason poo water came out. Yeah. Do you think that's good? Yeah. Okay, you want me? It's all over my pants too. And my shoes, and my socks. My prediction? No poo water on us. It drains perfectly we flush it. We're gonna have to shower immediately when we get home, right? I think it's gonna go completely smoothly and we're gonna knock it out of the park. I'm gonna take my shoes and socks off and wipe off my feet. All the predictions were incorrect. That was terrible. Um, the gray water tank was open when we pulled up, so when we took off the thing, gray water flew out, but the stuff from the black water tank was in the gray water tank, so when we opened it up, it all came flying out at both of us. Well, that happened. Our predictions were very, very incorrect. Yeah. It's been two days since that incident. And then we came home, took a shower, ate some pizza, and just kind of re unwound from that incident. But our fault is we had the gray valve open. Yeah, the whole time we were the camping. The whole time we were camping. But when we took the end cap off, who water should not have been in there. It should have just been gray water. So uh, the service department asked for pictures. We sent pictures and he said, well, your black water valve isn't closed. And we said, well, it's in as far as we can push it. Yeah. So it's not closed. We don't know why. We can't go on another trip until that's fixed because if we use the bathroom, the pool water is just going to build up. We're taking it in today. Yep. And hopefully our, our pool water situation will be different in the future. Right. <laughs> Here are our three lessons that we've learned on this trip yeah number one so we learned how uh, to get air out of the lines in our propane tank uh, in our propane stove second check your water levels before you go we did we were at three quarters um, but we ran out and uh, most importantly to make sure all your valves uh, for black and gray tank are completely closed before you start using the sink or the toilet um, or you will have a fiasco on your hands the way we did. So while we were at um, Pig Mines, we got our beer, because as you know, we fill in our little thing. This is totally caked. It is a stout that they developed for their ninth year anniversary. They've been in business as a vegan brewery for nine years in Chesney Park, Illinois. Our little beer glasses, we got this in Tucson, we think that they're adorable. vegan even when there's poo water on us <laughs> and we sometimes travel so like and subscribe if you want to see more stuff from us hit that bell if you want to get notified uh, when new videos go up and have a great day bye